Hello and welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. The topic for today is overcome your body. Overcome your body. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to listen to your word, to learn from you. We ask, oh God, that you speak to our hearts expressly in the name of Jesus. Let your word bring us light. Let it transform us from within in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. A Bible text is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, from verse 24 to 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, from 24 to 27, I read from the New King James Version. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. We see Apostle Paul here speaking to us about how he puts his own body into subjection or under subjection, ensuring that he is not a castaway following his preaching to others because he's preaching to every other person of course he's supposed to also bring a level of discipline our memory verse is taken from our bible text one verse there first corinthians chapter 9 verse 27 and it says but i discipline my body and bring it into subjection lest when i have preached to others i myself should become disqualified i pray that God will help us all to put our own body into subjection so that we will not be castaways, we will not be disqualified even after preaching to others in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The truth is anyone who is going to excel as a child of God must be self-disciplined. And self-discipline, of course, comes from self-control as well. Because when you have, you know, put yourself under or put yourself under subjection or put yourself into subjection, that means you're working according to some standards that have been laid down for yourself. And for you to lay down standards and work according to those standards, that is actually one definition of discipline. Now, as children of God, we just don't wake up one day and put up standards that we think are right, but we put up standards that are in line with the Word of God. We put up standards that are in line with what God will have us do. We put up standards that are in line with the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 tells us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So this shows us that when we're able to control ourselves, we will be working towards strong, serious self-discipline. And it shows us that self-control, being a fruit of the Spirit, yields self-discipline. But when we don't have self-control as children of God, it will become almost impossible for us to be disciplined. I pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We shouldn't assume that we can do anything that we like, eat anyhow, sleep anyhow, drink and party anyhow, and everything will still work or fall into place for us. And this, you know, tells us that we need to live intentionally and we need to be deliberate about how we feed our body, how we feed our spirit as well. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, They that wait upon 
upon the Lord renew their strength so it means that there is a need to wait upon the Lord and one definition of that wait is to fast to deprive ourselves of you know physical food so that we can be light you know in the body and we can stand and take a stand in the spirit when our bodies are heavy only weighed down with food with activities and all of those kind of things it also has a way of pulling down our spirit when we wait upon the lord then our strength is renewed but that renewal of strength does not only happen in the physical it's also a renewal of spiritual strength and the bible says still on isaiah 40 31 that they will mount up with wings as eagles they will run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint and this running and walking and mounting up with wings is not also only physical but spiritual so this tells us that the self-discipline that we inculcate as regards what we do with our body or how we treat our body or what we feed our body with also affects how well our spirit will respond in some cases. For example, if you're heavily weighed down with a lot of food, you would not be able to stay up praying for long hours and that means the moment you're not able to pray well the moment you're not able to stay up at night to pray the moment you can last through a night vigil the moment you cannot take time out to fast and consecrate yourself a few for a few days then it will also weigh down on the on, on your spiritual growth as a child of god i pray that god will help us in the mighty name of jesus christ amen we need to know that it takes discipline to sit down and study the word of god if you have an examination to write you definitely will spend time to attend classes and to study in the same way we need to give time to not only attend church services or listen to other services you know online or um you know attend special programs and all of that we also need to give up time to sit and study the word of god to spend time praying and giving ourselves to god we need to be able to stay away from you know gadgets and movies that many of us get to binge on and spend time just quieting our spirit listening to the holy spirit lead and direct us when we find this very difficult to do it's a possibility that we're becoming victims of the wiles of the enemy we're becoming victims of the devil and we need to ensure that we discipline ourselves to cause our spirit to ascend to take a, an ascended position above our you know our, our physical whims our desire for food for sex for sleep and our spirit will be sharpened even as we put our bodies down and pray that god will help us all in the mighty name of jesus Amen. You know, one point that Pastor He Adeboye made in today's devotional, and I want all of us to come, uh, you know, to look into. Let me take that again. You know, one point that Pastor He Adeboye made in today's devotional that I want all of us to consider is he says, comparing how often you eat and sleep with how often you pray, how disciplined would you say you are? So when you say, I eat this number of times per day, or could it be quantity of food? This is the measure of food that I eat. When you consider it to how often you pray, or maybe how often you study the word of God, then you judging yourself, how disciplined would you say you are? When we're able to judge ourselves prior to prior to you know any form of judgment, and we're able to make necessary adjustment as to how uh, we live our lives this is your adjustment in the direction that the holy spirit is leading us to then we know that we are attaining a higher level of self-discipline overcoming our bodies but causing our spirit man to ascend and become more sharpened i pray that god will help us all in the name of jesus amen <music>